honored for me to be here to speak with you, members of the American family, and to reflect on the current struggle for civil rights in the post-911 era. Thank you for your invitation to speak. The American Muslim Council continues to be a partner with us on addressing the challenges we all face in keeping our country safe and protecting our civil rights. Okay, we are all very proud of being law abiding citizens. Let's also be rule abiding citizens. Also, 
also civil enforcement of uh, enforcement, excuse me, of civil rights. The educational opportunities. Everyone is entitled to those under the Constitution and the federal statutes. The Equal Employment Opportunity Act that entitles you to those equal rights for employment purposes. Your voting rights, the Help America Vote Act. Housing and access to public housing. Fair Lending Act is also covered by that. Religious Land Use and Institutionalized Persons Act. Why are you here? There's no point My office, the United States Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Tennessee, is known largely for its work in the prosecution of criminal cases. But the truth is, by the time we are prosecuting someone, it is usually too late. The individual being prosecuted has already broken the law and the victim has already suffered the consequences. Sadly, this is the reality of our hate crimes work. Almost 10 years after 911, more than uh, 12 years, excuse me, more than 50 prosecutions later, and a lot of long prison sentences, far too many people are still repeating the same vicious acts against members of the Air Muslim Sea. Then we 
we did in 2010. You need not like the color of a person's skin. Thank you. 
Thank you very much for inviting me. 